Good morning. Today we are beginning with paragraph writing. And as you know, a paragraph is a connected series of sentences that are related to the same subject or the single subject. Just as a sentence contains one main thought in the same way, a paragraph contains one main topic or theme. So, all the sentences in a paragraph should be grouped together so that they must serve a purpose. And the purpose is of developing the main theme. So, a paragraph then is a group of sentences that are organized around a central topic. And the cardinal rule of paragraph writing is to focus on one idea. Now, what are the requirements of a good paragraph? For writing a good paragraph, there should be unity, order, and then variety. For unity, a paragraph must not contain more than one main topic or one main theme. If it does, then the paragraph loses its focus and it's not considered a well-written paragraph. So, a paragraph should have a theme that can be expressed. In one sentence, that can be called the topic sentence. Then, they, it should be connected, the sentences should be connected to each other so that they have relevant meaning in developing it. Next comes the order. The thoughts that you are presenting, they should always be arranged in clear and logical manner. If you are giving reference to an event, then they should be arranged in order of their occurrence. So all ideas should be connected with the main idea and they should be arranged in such an order that is relevant. Variety can be given by writing short and long sentences. Sentences can be of different length and different construction. Regarding paragraph structure, most paragraphs consist of introduction, then body, and then the conclusion. Nearly all paragraphs follow this structure, whether you are narrating or describing, comparing, contrasting, or analyzing information. And always remember, each part of the paragraph, paragraph's function is communicating the meaning. Let's come to the introduction. The first sentence of a paragraph should have the topic sentence or any other sentence at the beginning that gives the background information or probably provides a kind of transition. Then comes the body of the paragraph. It follows the introduction and it controls the idea. For that, maybe you can use facts, arguments, or it can be done by analysis or by adding up some information. Coming to the conclusion, 
Conclusion is the final section. It summarizes the connection between the information discussed in the body of the paragraph or the paragraph's controlling idea. Now, how to write a paragraph? For that, you should think about the points upon which you wish to write. For that purpose, you can jot down the points or you can frame questions about the topic that you think the uh, answer would be. And then the answer to that question would provide you the points to develop. Now, when you have got those points, the second most important thing is that you should arrange them in proper order. Then, next thing is when you begin your paragraph, it should be in such a way that it interests the reader. So that from the first sentence, he moves on to the entire paragraph. So it has to be written very attractively. Then remember not to use more than one theme in one paragraph. Then you are writing in variety of ways like short and long uh, sentences but they should be written in clear and logical manner and they should make complete sense and finally if on revising you find there are mistakes do not leave it correct them whether it is spelling mistake, grammatical mistake. And this is how you can work on your written composition. This is all for today. Thank you.